Welcome back to Let's Play Bionicle the Game. Today we're taking on Liwa Nuva's quest. We've got 170 light stones, the target is 150. Deepwood. Sister Toa comes with a sorry bad tale. Word is Deepwood. Bring a sorry bad story. Toa Lua, you know what news I bring? The drums of Lekoro. The drums of Lakoro. Crytel of Sons of Makuta. The Makuta Sons! But without my Suva, I cannot reach the threat. Where are your Matoran to activate the Suva? Captured. Lost. You alone can find them, Luanuva. Find them, free them, and use the Suva to hunt for these Sons of Makuta. Heart promise, sister. Heart promise. Alright, I'm going to talk about that cutscene in a moment. But first... I'll just quickly talk about this uh, first portion of the level. We need to rescue six Matoran in order to get to the next part of the level. And now we have choice, non-linearity. Will we go to purple or green? I'm going to go to green first. The reason that I point out occasionally in this game that they are directly quoting Bionicle Mask of Light as if that's a bad thing for some artistic failing when of course it makes sense that this thing based on the story of Mask of Light would quote it is the fact that it's not emulating the scenes directly it has these completely different scenes and is quoting them in an entirely different context like some postmodern masterpiece or or at least like a, a dumb video game and so that's creates kind of a surreal experience. So I guess it is a postmodern masterpiece. You can speed up, as the direction said, but you kind of don't want to. At least not most of the time. Every time I get to that third vine, I miscalculate exactly how many jumps it takes to reach it. And so then in jumping to reach it, I jump off. Unfortunately, that's not a problem because the double jump, but, you know, those vines do not feel in any way engaging to swing on. We are attempting to free or rescue six Matoran. Hello dragonfly. I think this dragonfly appears to indicate that you've gotten all the Matoran you need from one section. Uh, these fireflies disappear once you've gotten all the Matoran. There are six in total, three in each area. The falls portion, as I recall, is... oof. is shorter but comes with that hammer swinging, swinging hammer. I can't really tell you what to do about it. I think you have to speed up to get through it. Hope I don't die. That would be embarrassing. I guess it wouldn't be embarrassing, because almost no one is watching this, and also... No one cares if I die, but, you know, it would be embarrassing to myself. One thing I never pointed out in Tahu's level is that the Matoran you save there are Le Matoran for some reason, and not Ta Matoran. Guess it makes them easier to see. Yup, the dragonflies do show up when you've rescued all the Matoran in one section, because now there are two. Go in here, and this one teleports you. Now we get to a somewhat frustrating mechanic. All right, so Liwa can glide because he's the Toa of Air. As always, I fail that jump the first time. This is 
one of the more precise jumps you have to make with the glide, so I guess that's fine. The idea is simply that it might be your instinct as a pro gamer to sort of let your double jump, uh, you know, to fall for a little while, and then do your double jump. Or, excuse me, and then do your glide after you've double jumped. But that is not what you want to do in that case. You want to glide immediately after double jumping. With these tower platforms, the ones with dead yellow grass will crumble, while these ones with green grass will not. That is the same lizard from Onua's level. I just think those are the same bugs, too. And that's a pitfall. This game does differentiate the Toa in a very basic way, as you can see. You know, with Liwa being able to glide, I don't know, Gali can swim, I guess that's a differentiation. But it doesn't do too much in that category, like making them fight differently at all. But you have to understand, it was 2003, and more importantly, Yep, I always fail that fall the first time. And more importantly, um, the people making this game were uh, not very good, and also making it very quickly. Alright, so as you can see, in this level, the light stones are sort of supposed to be guiding you as to where you need to go next. It doesn't really work here, because by the time the camera turns to face where you need to go next, the platform has already fallen. This is rather roundabout, needing to get to this vine, and then needing to fight with these awful vine swinging controls. Whoa, why, why is he falling? Not sure, but I didn't die, so I guess it's okay. Uh, the music went away. I seem to have a... There is another bad game I like, which I will probably let's play at some point, which also has problems looping its music. It actually has, I think, much bigger problems with music than this game does. But yeah, this game's music will drop out occasionally. There are also problems with it just, like, taking a long time before it starts looping. These vines will break a few seconds after you grab onto them. Unlike everything else that collapses in this level, there's no indication that it'll do that. You need to wait for this tree to fall and then go to it. Now, we've been playing this game for a long time. It's usually pretty straightforward where you're supposed to go. Now, it's not. Oh, wow. I feel like this would be a good place to put an invisible wall, but, uh... Hmm. Nope. Doesn't seem to be one. I don't really want to jump off, risk jumping off. So where do we go now? Why, it's time to ride this set piece in a cutscene to the next area. Wait, where's the, where's the cutscene? No, there's no cutscene. You do, in fact, have to jump back off. And now we will take this balloon and fly away. 
or fly down to the next area. And now it's time for the epic confrontation with Ponrock. Yes, it's the boss fight already. Wait, no, it's not. Actually, he's, he's still a ways away. Forget what I said. Oh, oops. I was expecting to be able to double jump there. I'm not sure why. And now we have nowhere to go, but we do have these bubbles. This level has some of the most, like, set piece, I don't know, just like different things. What is that sound? I honestly have no idea what that sound was. All right, what's coming up is another one of the most difficult parts of the game. Now, hopefully, I have not practiced so many times that that fact no longer comes across. So, in short, this bird will fly and we glide behind it. Now, if you're like me, you'll go and do it something like this. And... ooh, hello. <laughs> so, that was a great one-two punch where I was expecting him to not fly at all. And then he did fly, but I was somehow out of alignment with him, and so I fell anyway. The point is, to get this guy to fly, you need to glide when you're very near him. So you're, to do that, accomplish that most effectively, you want to jump from the back. And now, I don't know, oh boy. I was going to say how I'd gotten good at this. You don't need to be exactly exact with this guy, but you do need to be pretty close. Which means it's going to take a lot of tries to figure out his route. Or at least sort of to intuit his route. You know, so you can react as he turns. Alright, got more than 150 light stones. In this place, you need to glide to cross this gap. Feels like a platform's coming, but it's not. Let's go murder a guy. Alright, here is the... Hello, goodbye. Here is the boss fight against Ponrock. I don't really know how one ought to do it. The objective here is to trap him. How one does this, however, is uh, not mine to know. I haven't really failed it. He'll sort of... Come on. There we go, just barely made it. Yeah, I don't really know how to go about doing it, but I did it. And for some reason, Liwa gets Krana from him. I guess because they didn't model any Krata. And... There we go! We, we did it! I'm just looking over and realizing I forgot to plug in my computer. So I've been doing this on low battery. This game does emulate well. We've uh, done levels for all six Toa, so what's next? We'll find out next time. See you then. Hmm. Oh. I could do some damage with this.